Quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. It's October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Make sure you get a mammogram. My good friend Leslie is in the house. How are you, Leslie? I am doing good. Tired from the storm last night, but good. How are you? Yeah, it really did. We had big thunder and lightning and rain. Okay, all the boys said they didn't hear it. I, they were just sleeping. Yeah, I uh, No, we had big thunder and lightning at our house. Yeah. But it's a beautiful day now. It's nice yes, and it's cool and out. all of that. Um, are you getting ready for Halloween? Do you have all your decorations out? I have most of them up. Okay. I'm tempted to buy more, but my husband's not letting me. <laughs> I'm tempted to buy more. I love it. I love that. But yeah, other than that, we're pretty much ready besides candy. Yeah, did you watch this show yesterday about hanging the Halloween quilts in the cemetery? Yes. That is what Ray and I are going to do this weekend. I'm really excited. That'll I'll share it with everybody next Awesome. Week. All right, where is everybody watching from? We have folks from uh, Oregon and Newton, Iowa. Do you know where Newton is? I don't know. Like in between here and Des Moines, I believe. Okay, Williamsburg. Welcome, everybody. We're glad you're here. Today is all about the Go Cornucopia dye which is October's Dye to Try. Today I'm gonna to show you how to cut and sew an entire block together. It's really kind of fun. All right, so here is my photo of the day. You know, we always have to have a photo of the day. So here is my photo of the day. Um, at our house, Ray makes pie. And this must have been like a lemon meringue pie. Um, so the question of the day is, what is your favorite part of Thanksgiving dinner since we're talking about cornucopia? So Leslie, what's your favorite part? Mine is my mom's cheesy potatoes. She makes them for every holiday regardless of our theme for the holiday because Christmas we usually switch it up and do like breakfast or Mexican, but oh, right. her cheesy potatoes are the best. Cheesy potatoes are awesome. Yes. That sounds delicious. Um, I'm a big stuffing fan. Ooh. Yeah, for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, my friend, my other friend Leslie, um, this year for Christmas or for Thanksgiving, all the kids in her family, um, she got them shirts that said like what they love to eat. So like Ooh. one of them says stuffing and one of them says mashed potatoes and that's fun. Turkey. I thought it was great. Okay. So in the comment section today, what is your favorite part of Thanksgiving dinner? All right, it's Wednesday, so we have a great promo for you today. So today you can take an extra. 10% off your order plus we're going to ship it to you free if you live in the contiguous U.S. So currently on our site hundreds of items are marked down 32% using and it's for the code for the super fall holiday sale. So many words right there. Some exclusions apply. The code is 10 extra, mm -hmm. 10 extra. So take in addition to what's already on sale take additional 10%. Quilters, now is a really good time to stock up on holiday dies and project dies and cubes and cutters because once product is sold out, we will not be able to get any before the new year, okay? We are also affected by that whole supply chain. But today I'm gonna give away one of our new Go Cornucopia dies. Be sure and share this video on your personal Facebook page for the chance to win. And we're gonna announce the winner at the end of our show. All right, now quilters, before we get started today, um, we don't typically have visitors on Wednesday, but we have a great visitor today. Her name is Elizabeth Townsend. Um, she is a professor of law from Tulane University, and she heads up a group called Just Wanna Quilt. And she is here via Zoom, and she's gonna share an exciting new project that she and her team are working on, and it can be made with AccuQuilt dyes. So Elizabeth, welcome. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm good, and I've got a friend here, Joel Sellers. So. Joel, wait, yeah. stick your head in. We'll see Joel in just a second. There we go. <laughs> welcome, welcome. All right, Elizabeth, tell us a little bit about um, your project and how you guys are going about this and what's happening there. Sure. So I'm a law professor at Tulane University Law School, and I was looking at the relationship of copyright and quilting. Okay. And I've gotten insanely obsessed with quilting in the process. So we have a podcast and a Facebook page, we write books about copyright and quilting, but our new project, which Joel and I are working on, is looking at historical quilts and how you can recreate or be inspired by historical quilts. And we're using the AccuQuilt dies whenever we can, every step of the way that we can. And so we've got one example of that here. This is um, a, we're, we're working on a book about medallions, and this is a, 
uh, original pattern is by Martha Washington. I know, and like President Washington's wife, Martha. Yes, yeah, yeah. that Martha so, Washington. <laughs> right, and so we've been playing, and so this is this is Joel's creation. You can see. I bet your your viewers can identify yes. where the dots are, right? So, Joel is and, beautiful, right? And then some up there, and the strips. Um, and we're starting. I don't know about you, but maybe you can help us because we this is paper pieced, right? But I bet we could do it as a die. I bet so there is a die for that. We have hundreds of dies. We'll find one yeah. for you. So yeah. that's what we've been doing, and we've been traveling. And I also have to say that, like, uh, we have the Go Me. This is like, I'm so not, like, I don't get any money for saying this. Um, but, like, <laughs> I decided to throw it in my suitcase, which I did with some dyes. And so as we've been traveling and bored in the hotel rooms, we've been what making stuff. So it's been is. really great. So I, when I first got the truck, I was like, what am I going to do with this little teeny thing? Well, I now know. It's always going in my suitcase. Yes, so, always, yeah. always. Um, back in the day when I traveled to the United Kingdom, I would take one in my suitcase as well. Because it weighs great. like six pounds or something. So, so tell us about how our viewers can join your project. Sure. If they want to so, make Martha um, quilts. The easiest way is our Facebook page, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so we we talk about copyright and quilting and hanging out and our kids. It's pretty. The only rule we have is kindness. I, really, that's the only rule. It is. Um, also have a podcast. Just want to quilt. It's been on for four years. We've had four hundred guests. Everybody you can imagine, including you. I have been on your um, podcast. It was a great. It it's was fun. Great. Um, and then what our goal is with all the historical quilts is really looking at copyright because if something's older than the Great Depression, it, you likely can use it without asking any permission and you wow. can make your own quilt. So we're really working on trying to help educate quilters about copyright. Most of the time people think copyright is like uh, uh, the police, like copyright police. Right, right. I, I see it the opposite. I see all these opportunities like this quilt. The, we don't have to ask Martha Washington's heirs. Right. It's in the public domain, so we can play with it. Wonderful. Um, and so that's, that's what the book will be about. Wonderful. And then at the end, you're going to have all these quilts somewhere or in a parade or something, right? <laughs> yes, because we're from <laughs> New Orleans, right? We believe in parades. Yes, we're having a parade. Yeah, we're working, right. We're working on some really cool um, exhibits and other things. Um, we've got big plans. Um, and so we'll, we'll be able to share a little bit more of that soon. Um, but right now we're working on finishing up the book, which will be called Just One a Medallion. We'll be doing a bunch. We're also doing one called Just One a Zoo. Um, about uh, a uh, paper piecing zoo thing. But right now, if people are interested in learning a little bit about copyright, you can go to our website. Yes. Um, and there's a bunch of books. There's a tiny book for a little bit of copyright. There's a big book about lots of copyright or or trademark or patents. Um, and we did a special code for um, your listeners. It's evergreen, so it lasts forever. Evergreen um, is awesome. Is, um, AQ20, so you get 20% off any book that you Perfect. purchase. From us. Perfect. All right, so quilters, if you want to join this, I'm really excited because um, Elizabeth and I have kind of been talking about this project for a little bit, and I'm really excited to start one myself. So if you would like to know more information about the Martha Project, um, you can check out Just Want a Quilt at justwantaquilt.com. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Safe travels. Thank you. All right, thanks. take care. Bye, Joel. Thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah. We had so much fun um, doing our podcast. Um, Elizabeth had never used our Go products, and, and once she started using them, that's all she uses. She's really excited about it. So we're glad she joined us. Okay, quilters, let's get started. Before you start, you want to download the free pattern called Go Petal Perfusion. It's a free pattern from AccuQuilt.com. It's the pattern on the back of the packaging, and it's actually Leslie, the quilt hanging behind Leslie today. So this die is currently in stock. Again, you want to get out before supplies run out. It's a limited time because it's the October die to try. Yeah, there we go. All right, quilters, this block finishes to 10 inches. So think about pairing it with the 10-inch cube and companion sets, 10-inch setting triangles, or another bob that finishes to 10 inches. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Remember, bob stands for block on board, which means all the shapes you need to complete one block or on the die board. It's an AccuQuilt innovation. All right, so let's get started. So here's the block we're gonna make today. Leslie, do you like this block? I do, I think it's super pretty. And from what I talked to Terry about, who created the quilt behind me, she said that it's not as difficult as it seems. It's not, the Y seams aren't hard at all. We're gonna show you how to go through them. But I love it because it's that modern look, yeah. right? I think this is one that I might 
be willing to tackle YCs I'll help on? You. I'll help you. Okay. We can do a table runner. It won't be hard. Perfect. And then you can make it for Thanksgiving. That'd oh, be yeah, fun. Perfect. All right, so quilters, this die is on a six by 24 die board. So it's gonna fit through all of your cutters, including the Go Me and the Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter. Make sure you wanna have a 10 by 24 or six by 24 mat. Leslie, what happens if they try to use those bigger mats? It will shimmy and shake and not cut right. It won't, and she's right, and it will be, you'll be crabby about that, okay? So let's talk about it. So first of all, the die is screen printed for keeping track of your pieces. And you're gonna notice there's a D and a DR. Um, all of these shapes um, have screen printing. They also have specialized dog ears. Look, we cut off the dog ears and now we have quarter inch seam allowances here on our triangles and our diamonds. Now the pattern says you can make a five color block in just one pass through the cutter, but I'm gonna make a one, two, three, four, five, six color block in just one pass, okay? So today, let me show you how to lay all of my fabric down. Okay, so this right here, shape A, I'll move this so you can see. Shape A are these pieces of the cornucopia, okay? So we need red and purple and blue. So I have red and purple and blue, okay? And I cut off the little edge here because I need to put a piece of this dark gray here and you can only cut six layers of fabric. All right, so for shape E, we're gonna use yellow and green. These are the squares here, okay? And shape B is this blue color. This is the base of the cornucopia. I love this fabric, Leslie. Me too. I'm all about it here. Okay, and then the rest of these shapes um, are going to be this dark gray. And you'll notice that um, I have them wrong sides together because you're gonna need a left and a right. And if you don't fan fold back and forth, um, you're only gonna get lefts and you're gonna be mad, okay? And follow that pattern so you know how to sub cut your fabric. All right, so I'm gonna use my Go Big today. Hey, Leslie, yes. so the Go Big, we have a sale on this Go Big today, right? With the cornucopia die? We do, we have a bundle with the cornucopia die. So you'll get the Go Big, the cornucopia die, the six by 24 mat, the flying geese that comes with the Go Big normally for only $599.99. And we're gonna ship it to you free. Yes. And remember quilters, once these Go Bigs go out of stock, they're gone until the end of the, until the new year, okay? So if you're looking to upgrade to a Go Big, remember you could run two of our smaller dies through in one pass. It is the cutter I use every day. And then Pam, Beth wants to know on everything else, do you wanna do everything all faced up or do you wanna fan fold on the other shape? Yeah, well? you just wanna fan fold back and forth. Yeah, it's just easier, thanks for asking. I'm gonna slide that mat, don't lift, because there's a little bit of static, not too bad today here in the Dream Studio, okay? So I'm gonna pull back my little pieces. Hey, don't forget to join us on Tuesday. Um, whatever that date is, October 19th at 12 noon central time. Um, Leslie, how many new dies are we releasing? We are releasing two new dies. Two new dies, two new dies, and they're right in time for the holidays. So um, register in the link for the chance to win. What do they wanna register, Leslie? Because they'll be able to either win the dies or the awesome fabric giveaways and yes. other giveaways that we have for the show. We have so many fun uh, yes. giveaways. Leslie, you're in charge of those, right? The I little... Know. And someone just asked what this fabric line is. This fabric is by Northcott Fabric. Thank you, Northcott. Yes. And that's, this is actually the fabric in the project behind Leslie. All right. So now that my pieces are cut, I'm going to start sewing. So, okay. Think of how long it would take you to cut these with rotary cutters or scissors. We are 90% faster than those um, regular ways of cutting. And you're going to get to this point so much faster. All right. So we've cut all our pieces make a test block just like this before you start your project. And you wanna press your seams open. Leslie, do you know why you wanna press your seams open? To reduce the bulk, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start, and it's really actually a very simple block. I have some more step outs, so I'm gonna lay some pieces here. Okay, Leslie, while I'm laying out my pieces, tell us what is people's favorite part of Thanksgiving? Oh, there's so many good ones. I know, ones. I'm so I'm excited hungry. here. Cause it's like lunchtime. Um, Jenny likes the desserts. Yes, 
At our house, there's only pie for dessert. Do you have more than just pie at your house? Uh, we do pie, and my cousin does cheesecake sometimes. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. Uh, Donna said stuffing is her favorite part. Yeah, I'm right there. Tiffany says mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, Peggy says all the yummy food, of course. Okay. Oh, see, this is why I can't talk and do this. Okay, here we go. Go ahead. Uh, Wendy says turkey over the open fire at the campgrounds. Holy smokes. I feel like open fire in a campground is way hard for Thanksgiving. My I'm goodness. sure it tastes delicious, though, with the I'm smoke sure on the turkey. Fabulous. I'm sure it is just fabulous. Okay. And we're going to put. So here's what I'm doing, cultures. I'm laying out all of my pieces so I know what I'm doing. And then Pam, Carol wants to know when you cut that big blue piece, did that cut on the lengthwise grain with the way you laid the fabric it on did, it? did, and here's why I did it like that, okay? Because this little shape is kind of an odd shape to begin with, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of fabric, right? So if I put it like this, and then it would waste the corner. So I just subcut it and turned it. That was a good question, though, okay? All right, so here we go. Okay, so first of all, here, I'm going to show you this. Watch. I'm going to take these pieces away. Well, actually, I'm not yet. Because you're going to sew a top and a bottom. All right? Oh, look, it works because we van folded our fabric. Holy smokes. Okay. And these go here. And this goes here. Now, really important to lay out your pieces the right direction. Okay, see how I did that? Okay, and then all these little guys. It's okay, I have one already sewn. I know everybody's already stressed about that. They're like, wait, Pam, you're missing one. It's already sewn. All right, Miss Leslie, before we start sewing, what are people eating? Uh, Deborah said her grandma's recipe for sweet potato casserole. Oh, that sounds delicious. That does sound delicious. Someone said, Patty says holiday mashed potatoes. I don't know how that's different. What is that, how is that different than regular mashed potatoes? Please be sure and tell us. Uh, Georgina says corn casserole. Oh, that's a real popular one. Yeah. yeah. And then Jolie says pumpkin pie is the best dessert. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, yeah. pumpkin pie. Okay. I only eat pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving. Is that the only time ever? Pretty much. Oh, okay. That's when I associate it. Pumpkin pie is for... Oh, it's okay. giving. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's talk about Y seams because there's a few and I don't want you to stress about them. Okay? So a Y seam is basically an inset seam. We can't sew it without um, an inset seam. So right here is one, right here is one, right here is one. There's one on each side here. And then this right here, this little block right here, we're going to sew these two pieces together and stop. And then we're going to add that green square, OK? And then we're going to add this to the Y. We're going to sew it with the Y seam. So it's going to take you a minute, but here's what I did. When I was making my step outs, I just did chain piecing, right? So I, I would cut, if you need three blocks for your row or whatever, I would just cut them all out. And because then I can just do them all at one time, OK? So the first thing we're going to do is we need to sew these shape A's together. All right. Now, here's the thing about shape A. We're going to put a Y seam here. So what we want to do is stop sewing right here at that quarter inch seam. OK. And this is what we're going to create for the top of our block. All right. Pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put right sides together. OK. And then. I'm going to tell you, you want to mark your seam. All right? We have these great little um, clover markers on our website. OK? And I'm right-handed, so i got to do this this way. There we go. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from the edge, right? I'm going to come right here along the edge and a quarter of an inch from the edge, and I am going to mark a seam. OK? Now, when I sew, I'm going to stop sewing here, all right? And then I'm going to press my seams open because then this will be the first place I'm going to put that Y seam, okay? 
So just hang with us right here. So I've marked it here. I'm gonna stop sewing. And I'm only gonna do one of these little sections at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. All right, quilters. This is the question everybody asks me every week. This has a walking foot. I am not using the walking foot today. How come, Leslie? Because you're just piecing. I'm just using cotton fabric. Yeah. yeah, if I was quilting or using heavier fabric, then I would put my walking foot, I would engage it, okay? Because quilters ask me that all the time. So I'm gonna come right here, and just right before I get to that blue line, I'm actually gonna back stitch, like two stitches. Okay, because I don't want it to come out while I'm sewing it. And then someone was wondering, instead of the, that piece for the, they said the big blue piece, I'm thinking they mean the- This one? Shape A. Yes. Um, can you use two diamonds instead of it? Uh, I, I don't know. I, don't know. Well, I mean, yes, they're diamonds, but we did all the math. Yeah. So I'm not sure what size diamonds you would use. And here's the thing, quilters. You're gonna get all of the pieces <laughs> for the whole die or in the whole block. So, all right. So now I'm gonna press this open. Don't forget to share because we are going to give away one of our Go Cornucopia dies just in time for the holidays. Okay. So share this video on your personal Facebook page. Are we good, Brock? Okay. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna sew um, the next pieces together. So we're gonna sew this shape to here. Are we good, Brock? Yep. Shape F, which is our gray, to either side of our yellow shape E, okay? And I'm gonna do a couple of these so I can chain piece. It's just what I wanna do. Oh, see, this is why we do this. Well, and while you do that, a couple people have asked, why do a Y seam? Why not sew the little blue triangles to the yellow square and then sew the reds on? S I think that might mean the gray. Is this what you're asking? So we're gonna sew this together and make a triangle. We still have to put this triangle in here. So we need a Y seam for this. Yeah. I know why seams are tricky because sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. Okay, so I'm gonna come right here and chain piece. And look, AccuQuilt cut off all of the dog ears. So now we have a perfect quarter inch seam. All right, Leslie, why I'm sewing, tell us what people are having for Thanksgiving. Well, we got told what holiday mashed potatoes are. They have cream cheese, butter, sour cream that you make the day before and was refrigerated and then you bake it on Thanksgiving day. Holy smokes. So we, um, for Christmas, have like twice baked potatoes. So that Ooh. sounds like maybe twice baked potatoes. Kind of. Oh man. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. One day, Leslie, we're gonna have to have a whole, share with us your favorite recipes. We are, we need somewhere to people submit. With right? how much we talk about food on this show, we need somewhere to submit recipes. We at. try to talk about other things like thread and fabric, but it always somehow comes back to that. Okay, okay so I press my seam open. Now I'm gonna do the other side. This is how we can just chain piece for days. Um, we, okay, I, you know, I was thinking about when I asked you if you ate pumpkin pie any other time, I only eat green bean casserole on Thanksgiving. Like I don't make it during the year and say, oh, we should have green bean casserole. I don't either. I mean, we th make it for other holidays, just not. Do you? Yeah, I think, I feel like we have it for Easter sometimes. Oh, maybe Easter. But my husband hates green beans, so. Oh, we I don't love ever green make beans it myself. <laughs> we love green beans at our house. Okay, why is this seam not coming open? There we go. Holy smokes, it was being really stubborn there. Well, and then Jenny actually asked about seam. She said, Did you use a seam guide when you first started sewing a quarter inch seam? Oh, my, yes, because I started sewing long before I was part of the AccuQuilt team. So I had to have a quarter inch seam um, so my pieces would come together. Now I just go where the dog ears, cut them off. I just think it's great. Okay, here we go. So look at us, just having Y seams for days. Okay, 
All right, so now I'm gonna press this open. And it really does make a difference, quilters, to press your pieces open. All right. Here we go. Sorry, I don't know why these are so sticky today. Okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put this seam or this um, triangle right here to shape A, okay? So now I already, it already has a quarter inch seam, right, opening. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this with a quarter inch, okay? So I'm gonna come right here from the edge. Ooh, Joe, I'm so sorry. He's trying to do an overhead camera and I'm, okay, hang on, hang on, because I gotta put right sides together. See, this is why we practice, okay? So it's gonna come from this way. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And here's what I'm gonna tell you to do. Just practice, okay? Just practice putting your seams together. Practice making Y seams, okay? All right, so now let's look at this. I'll get a good overhead shot. All right, so look, I've marked the quarter inch seam and I'm gonna make sure when I sew it, all of this is a way so that I don't sew the pieces together, all right? And then Pam, while well, you have the overhead shot, yes. Amy wants to know why are all of our corners rounded? She's never used AccuQuilt before. <gasps> oh, welcome to AccuQuilt. Listen, you want a ready, set, go today. Yes. Because it comes with a go cutter, a two and a half inch strip, and our eight inch cube, which are eight geometric shapes that make 72 mix and match patterns. We have tons of videos about the ready, set, go, and it's probably on sale today. It is, I'll, I will find you the price. Leslie will find it. So when we cut our shapes, we cut off the dog ears. Normally, like in a triangle, these would be pointed, but we cut them off. So now I know to stitch from here to here, is a perfect quarter inch seam. We're so glad you joined us today. All right, there are some people in this room who have only quilted with AccuQuilt. Yep. Leslie's being one of them. I would never quilt without AccuQuilt. Never. Okay. So the ready set go today is 371.24 with oh, that wow. 10 extra. With the 10 extra yep. and we're gonna ship it to you free, right? Yep. It's within the free shipping. Someone just said, is Pam's watch haunted? Because they think they just saw a ghost on it. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> okay, look, can we see? Oh, we don't care. Who, it, Erica, why are you slacking us? Okay, can you see? So um, you can set the face for Halloween. And then if you tap him, look, he winks at you. And then he flies away and he scares you. <laughs> all about Halloween at our house. Okay, so now look how I sewed that. So now I am gonna take and I'm gonna pull all of this fabric out of the way. And we have lots of videos on how to sew Y seams. And I'm gonna start right where I finished there and I'm gonna sew the other side. But yes, my watch is on to hopefully change that this week. She That's thought fun. that was really fun. Sometimes they have unicorns on it. Sometimes I have like adult things on it, you know, like the weather and stuff. That's what I have on mine. I just have the weather on my watch. See, you could make it Halloween. I should. There's a couple people though. Pat said she didn't take up quilting until she found AccuQuilt. There, see? And Donna gave her go to her sister-in-law because she has the go big and the go me, and she's watching with her sister-in-law right now. She's new to AccuQuilt. Oh, hooray! Thanks for joining us today. Okay, so look, that wasn't hard at all. Now, I am going to tell you that when I press my Y seams, they typically want to press down. I don't fight the Y seams. Okay, I'm just happy that they're there. Okay, and then look, wasn't that easy? Ta da. Okay. So we're gonna just continue to build, all right? So now we're gonna do the same thing right here. So this is D and DR, and then we're gonna add shape E together with a Y seam, all right? Don't worry, I have pieces already sewn, okay? 
All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come right here. We're gonna mark the end because we're gonna stop sewing there, okay? And actually, maybe I'll make two. Oh, see, this is what happens. When I'm at home, I don't have to do this twice because I know what I'm doing. If Erica were here, she would tell you to pin. <laughs> but she's apparently slacking me, so it doesn't matter. Okay. She's here in spirit. She is here in spirit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I marked it again, right? So I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did before. I'm gonna come and I'm gonna sew that quarter inch seam. And while I'm sewing, Leslie's gonna tell us what people are eating for Thanksgiving. Well, who was it? Eleanor says, does anyone else like mince meat pie? Um, not at our house. It's her favorite. Good job. I've, I don't think I've ever had it. Um, my grandma used to eat it all the time. I am not a fan of um, much baked fruit, which me oh, mince meat has meat in it too. Oh. And ra okay, it has raisins, let's just be real. <laughs> I don't like raisins, okay? Um, our meta says pumpkin and pecan pie for the person that does not like pumpkin. We have pecan pie at our house. Just last weekend, um, we took Oakley um, out to Dittmer's to the orchard okay, to pick yeah. apples. And um, then Ray made an apple pie over the weekend. It is Yum. delish. Okay, so look. There's that little gap right there, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come right here. We're gonna mark the end of that um, square with a quarter inch seam. I want you to know, Leslie, I'm feeling like a big girl because I feel like I am pretty good now at Y seams. Because yes. I've been sewing them for a minute. We've released quite a few blocks this year with <laughs> Y seams. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stitch down here and then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna turn it the other direction. But the trick quilters is to mark that quarter inch seam. Do not think in your quilting head, oh, I can just eyeball it. Go on our website, get a clover marker and mark that quarter inch seam. Get you a little cute ruler like I have, okay? And then don't forget, you can, all of our videos live on our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel. So if you get this die, because you're gonna order it today, when you get this die and you think, gosh, I can't remember how to do Y seams, just come back and watch it. Okay, so now look, I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stitch from the edge and then I'm gonna come to the end. Okay, so Leslie, why I'm stitching, tell us about our blog. So our blog is a place with other patterns and inspiration from our go-getters, Kaden, Erica, um, yep. other AccuQuilt members right there every so often. Great projects that you'll never won't see as a pattern on our website. They only live on the blog. I did not know that until this year. Just so you know. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> and I, did I think either. you were the one who taught me about that. Probably because that was probably right when I took over, at, like the go-getter program. Anyway, yeah. So. So check out our blog. It's really great. There's Do you know what's on the blog this week? Yes, yesterday's was all about Halloween projects, the 11 top Halloween or countdown to Halloween projects. They love us, Leslie. Yes, yes they do. And then I think tomorrow, I don't remember what tomorrow is, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. Okay, so look. So now I have this little piece right here. Okay, so see how this is all going together. So we're gonna sew one more together and then I am gonna finish out my project over here for you. Because I have one sewn together. Actually, I'm just gonna show you right. I'm looking at my time. Oh, I'm good, okay. Um, I'm gonna actually sew this last one because I need it for this top. All right, so while I'm marking, look, I'm always gonna come and mark quarter inch from the edge. Okay, and then Right sides together. It's all about that. Mark it here and here. Um, the other day, Oakley was at the house and she discovered that I had this marker and that she could write on fabric and I let, just let her write all she wanted because it's water soluble. Hmm. She had a great time. She marked everything. She, I said, that doesn't need to be marked. And she's like, oh, I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> said, okay. <laughs> so go for it. All right. I'm gonna do this one. And then Elizabeth is wondering, do you do 
a quarter inch one at a time, your Y seams I'm assuming she's asking, or can you do several at a time? Oh, you can do several at a time. Yeah, you can just mark as many as you want. Like if, when I made the block, I did all of these sections together. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, I'm right here with my little iron. All right, and what are people eating, Leslie? Let's see. Sharon has chocolate bourbon pecan. Oh man, I have heard of that. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, Lisa has pumpkin pie made from a fresh pumpkin. Oh, our good friends do that. I've never done that. You have to have a pumpkin, a pie pumpkin. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, of course not you have just to have a pumpkin, a pumpkin from a regular pumpkin patch. Yeah, it's just not, don't go to the pumpkin patch and do that cultures. If you're thinking, oh, that sounds delicious. You need little pie pumpkins. Pamela likes deep fried turkey. Oh, lots of people at our house love deep fried turkey. I saw someone had said they liked the next day leftover sandwich with yeah. the mayonnaise, lettuce, and pickles. Oh, no, 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 no pickles. <laughs> what is happening here? Hold on, my, I was, the pickles got me all frustrated here. No, 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 we cannot have pickles on our sandwiches for the next day. Hold on here, I gotta take out some, see, look, I had a seam ripper here for a reason. I went way past my quarter inch mark. No, Manny, uh, but we just do like hot sandwiches, like with bread and then stuffing and turkey and gravy. Gravy is like an important part of Thanksgiving at the Heller house. Okay, so look, I'm gonna come right here. See, those, these white seams are not scary, quilters. They're just really nice, easy, small Y seams. It helps that you just have one piece of fabric that you're sewing up to, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take my little pieces, all right? And I'm gonna come here, cause look, this always happens. I always get right here and I think, okay, all right? So now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to inset this seam right here Okay, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the bottom part here, and then I'll show you one last one here on how to add that little Y seam. Because basically you're creating a top and a bottom, okay? So I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna mark my seam a quarter of an inch, okay? Da -da -da -da. All right, here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna mark it here. So you have like a little intersection so you know when to stop. All right, and I'm gonna bring my pieces together. All right, and then we're just gonna sew these sections together, these E's and F's together to make our little square. And now I'm just gonna show you how to inset them. But quilters truly, truly um, make a test block. It's really gonna help you. And thanks to Terry Vandenbosch, she made a great quilt. This, the one behind Leslie is so pretty. Make sure my seam lines up here. All right, Leslie, what are people eating? A lot of people are saying sweet potatoes. Oh yes, we have sweet potatoes with marshmallows and stuff. It's not even like good for you at all. No, it's not, but it's still good for the soul. Oh yeah. <laughs> Marcia said turkey with candy sauce from sweet potatoes instead of gravy. Oh. So put like the sweet, I'm assuming this like syrup that comes when you make the yes. sweet potatoes on top. Oh yeah, Ray likes, um, we make homemade cranberry sauce. Oh. Which is kind of delightful. All right, so what else are people eating? I'm sewing this last so seam. Ellen says ham and rolls. Okay. That sounds good. Barbara says her favorite food for Thanksgiving is ham and the pumpkin pie. Ham and the pumpkin pie, I've never heard of this. I'm like ham and pumpkin pie. Oh, I thought it was ham in the pumpkin no. pie. I was like, that does not sound good at all. No, ham and pumpkin pie. Okay. A lot of people are stay saying stuffing. Chris says strawberry pretzel jello, which is <gasps> one of my we favorites. We make that. We yeah. make that for the 4th of July. We don't make it for Thanksgiving though. That's one that we make quite a bit in my family. Is it? Yeah, I feel like we have it for Thanksgiving. Well, my uncle's allergic to chocolate and peanut butter, so like a lot oh, of- Oh, that poor soul. Yeah, we can't do chocolate, so pretzels. And he's oh, allergic Jello to pretzel that. salad. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, so look how I'm just, look, see? 
Those Y seams are perfect. I know. All right, so there's the top. All right, don't forget to join Erica and I on Tuesday and Lynn. Tuesday the 19th at 12 noon Central Time, we're releasing two new dyes. What do they want to register, Leslie? So they're entered in for all of our giveaways. Yep. The day. You get yep. the dyes, fabric, whatever else we might be giving away. Sometimes we have books and stuff. Sometimes we do give away books. It's really fun. All right, so the top is complete. Let's move to the bottom. We're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, we're going to follow the pieces. We're gonna sew, we've sewn one of shape A to one side. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it to the other side. And then I'm gonna add that Y seam. Hey, and Leslie, talk about our promo today. It's extra 10, right? Yes, yeah, so you get an extra 10% off of our already marked down items, which can get you up to 32% off of whatever you're shopping for. So what would you suggest you get today? I would suggest the 10 inch cube. Um, because the pattern behind you actually has the Oh, here, corners. can I show? Can I walk back here? I have no shoes on, but no one cares. It has the angles, isn't it? Yes. So this um, block right here, I don't know the name of this pattern, but it's Darling. So here's the cornucopia oh, die, and then here's the 10-inch com um, companion angles. So it has the kite shape and that isosceles triangle. Look at how pretty that one is. I like that one. Those companion sets are only one twenty one forty nine today. Wow. And we're shipping everybody free, yes? I believe so. Yeah. So get them today. We're going to ship it to you free. It'll be here. By the time next week comes, you'll have all your stuff. Okay, this one, this little Y seam that I'm sewing right now, quilters, this is a gentle Y seam. Okay, it's not very hard at all. So I marked, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I do. Okay, you're just gonna bring right here. All right, make sure we line up those pieces, start at that quarter of an inch mark. All right, let's say I'm almost done sewing, so tell us what else people are doing. Patty says fresh cranberry relish with orange in it. Yeah, we do that at our house. The yeah. Goulds do like a cream cheese, pineapple, and onion dip for Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it sounds weird, but it's... It's delish. It's interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay, don't forget to share, because we're going to give away the cornucopia dye today. We're going to pick a winner in just a minute. Okay, what else, Leslie, are people eating? Um, I am seeing a lot of desserts. Um, I've seen a few people said their favorite thing about Thanksgiving is spending the time with their family. And don't you think this year will be so nice? Because last year we were in quarantine. Yeah. And there was not a lot of fraternizing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think it'll be nice to be able to see family. Okay, quilters, I do love this block. Okay? So then you're going to sew the top to the bottom. Okay? And then look, we have these little pieces left. All right? that are gonna fit in here. But it hasn't this been so easy to put together? All right, so I'm gonna do my little thing here. I pinned it so I would remember where it went. Erica would be proud. Okay, I'm gonna come right here and mark my quarter inch seam with my ruler, it's my last one I'm gonna do. All right, so this is how you're gonna finish your blocks. So quilters, when I put my pieces together, I did, I did all of these groups together. And then I did all of these groups together. And that way I'm just marking the quarter inch seams as I'm putting it together. Okay. All right. So here we go. And kudos to Terry Vandenbosch for making such a beautiful quilt. I know. I, her color is always so Yeah. And this vibrant. is Northcott fabric. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, good job, Northcott. And then Donna asked, can you get the companion and use it without the 10 inch block or the 10 inch cube? So the answer to that is not really, um, because you need the shapes from the original cube to make other shapes work. Yes. So like you need that shape number five and you need those others. And they're on sale today, so get you some. It is, the 10 inch cube today is only 195.74. Oh, wonderful, and it's gonna ship free. Yes. And then let's see what other, so we have some 10 inch bobs, right? We do, there's a gorgeous pattern in like purples and light pastel colors and greens, and they use the pineapple dye. 
Which is Joe's favorite. Which is Joe's favorite. I am still yet to try it, but it's on my list of dyes. Oh, I do make. like the pineapple dye. It goes together just so nicely. It's gorgeous. And that's only sixty seventy four. Great. And what about the courtyard? Oh. Is that the same price? I think so. Let me look. Yeah. It also finishes to a 10-inch block. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to press this right here so you can see how cool this was. Boy, I'm taking all my pieces because... I'm three fourths of the way to making so many blocks right here. The courtyard would actually be sixty-seven forty-nine. Excellent. So think about other um, ten-inch blocks, right, or bobs that finish to ten inches, or strip dies to finish your quilts. Um, the ones that are used on the patterns today will only be sixty-seven forty-nine as well. There you go. And you'll be using them in two weeks on your next AccuQuilt Live. So get it now so you can follow along. Yes, in two weeks, we're going to make a puff quilt. I'm excited. I know. I think it's really cool. Um, and we're going to use the five-inch strip and the four. It cuts a five-inch strip and cuts a four-and-a-half-inch strip. So if it, you've been, um, they're everywhere on social media. If yeah. you're thinking, oh, I really want to make one of those puff quilts, today while they're on sale, get those strip dies so that in two weeks on November 3rd, you can um, follow along with me. I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, look, to da Thank you, Brock. All right, so look, here is our finished cornucopia block. Now, I would give this a really good press so that all of the pieces lay out perfectly. Now, quilters, for me, this block just isn't for fall. I could see it for springtime, for a bouquet of flowers. Um, think about it if you're going to do for wedding colors. Wouldn't that be really pretty? If you want to change the colorway of the block, use our free Go Quilt tool on our website. It allows you to change the colorway of not only this block, but thousands of other patterns. It has a quick how-to video to help you get started. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to join Eric and Lynn and I on Tuesday, October 19th, 12 noon Central Time. We're releasing two new dies just in time for the holiday. Register in the link for the chance to win prizes. And then Leslie, what's our last promo? What is it again today? Extra 10%? Yes, so you get an extra 10% off of um, items that are already currently marked down on our site. So that's up to 32% off of items. Um, for great deals and steals going on. Yes, it's for our super fall holiday sale. Yes. And the code you want to use is 10, the number 10, one zero extra. Okay, so think about strip dies and cubes and companion sets. And if you're looking to upgrade to that go big, today is a really great day to do that because you can get the go big cornucopia bundle. Yes. Right? Yes. And how much is it? It's only $599.99. So you basically get the map that goes with the cornucopia die for free. Yeah, and everything, yeah. yeah. It'll ship to you free. All right, do you have a winner I of our cornucopia die? All right, who is our winner today? Alrighty, our winner is Dremel Roll, please. <laughs> oh, I love the creaky door. <laughs> creaky door works. It's Jane Graff of Delfield, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Jane. <laughs> our team is gonna reach out to you and we are going to send you the new cornucopia die. Don't forget to share, we'd love to see it. All right, so join me next week for AccuQuilt Live. I'm going to showcase those two new dies and show you some such fun projects, okay, just in time for the holidays. Are you excited about our new dies? I am. Yeah. I am excited to try them out. Yeah, They're, it's been really fun working with them. All right, so on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team, we have uh, Nick is upstairs and Emily is off-site and Morgan is off-site. In the Dream Studio with me today is Leslie and Joe and Brock and Justin. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a great day.